Hello and welcome. I'm Nefer42, and today I'm going to do a quick update about what I've been doing recently. Um, so, as you can see behind me, the 3D printer is going. Hopefully, you can actually hear me over the top of it. It is quite loud. Um, but as you can see, it's in full motion, full printing, and all that kind of stuff. It's really good. Uh, I've run a, uh, I've been doing a project with one of my friends, uh, in which he um, is going to be cosplaying. Uh, and basically he wanted me to make some gauntlets for him. So he found the gauntlet um, STL files online. I've been printing them over the last couple of days. <laughs> oh god, I, I didn't know that the printer was going to be so loud and it really, it really does take it out of a, a good night's sleep. Um, if you leave it on overnight that is. Um, the first, the first two I don't have with me right now. This is the second one. No, this is the third, sorry. Um, and basically, this is the full this is the full piece here. You pr I printed it in halves, and it, as you can see, I'm printing another half now. The first two I printed as a full piece, so it came out pretty much like that onto the board, uh, and it didn't come out that great. Um, basically, what happened was, it seems that if you have more than just half a piece on a platform, um, it might actually um, it, start, it starts to lag in the software as well when you get near the top um, and that is actually quite apparent on some of the ones that I've already given to uh, my friend Jamie at the time um, you can actually see at the top like it gets uh, on this side here if you can zoom on if you can focus on that one uh, it's really smooth really good really nice but if you look on the other side here you can see that it gets a bit more ripply and on the inside here, where the, uh, well that actually looks really good on the camera, <laughs> well through the little screen anyway, that looks really good, but um, it actually becomes more brittle and also the plastic starts to crack and, and things like that. I mean that's going to be on the inside of the armour, so I don't, I don't know, you probably don't mind too much about that. Um, but when things like that do happen, they can become quite annoying for people who are printing stuff for other people. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so, so basically, like, uh, I've got the one coming out now. I don't know if you can see on the actual top of it. Um, the, the little symbol that's coming out on this one is a hundred times more clear than the one that is, um, actually on this one. Um, and that is mainly because a little trick <laughs> that I did. Um, when uh, 3D printing the objects, just you just have to actually just hide the the object that it's doing because it does like a, a rundown of what it's doing, uh, and that actually does lag it out a bit. I also didn't need to use support on this one, as you can see on here, it's actually printed pretty much okay, pretty much perfectly without the supports, which is good. Um, on here, I printed these with support, uh, and. It took a lot of cleanup uh, to actually get that looking okay, and also on this one here, if you can see on there, it's not it's not the greatest. Uh, it took a lot of cleanup to get the um, to get these to actually fit together as an actual piece. And even now, they don't they're not perfectly fit, um, but that's okay. Because uh, we can touch that up, we can um, file it down or whatever, whatever needs to be done. This piece I printed without supports. And as you can see, other than a tiny bit of overhang at the bottom, it's pretty much alright. So we can just pretty much pick that little bit off and there's no real damage done to the uh, object as a whole. Which is always good. That's really good. Um, a lot less damage than I, um, I was expecting, to be honest. We have here a clip as well. This is a clip that will hold the top and the uh, top and bottom part together. This little gun thing, which goes on uh, the bottom part of this. Uh, I don't actually have any full pictures of all of the stuff printed out yet, um, but I thought I'd just give a quick update as to what I'm doing at the moment. This is just a little project that I'm working on with a friend. Um, if you want to know how I'm doing time lapse and stuff for it, there will be a video out in a well. 
let, let, let me know in the comment sections below. Uh, but there will be another video out for this um, after he's been, uh, and it'll actually detail like the whole thing and everything that's been going on, um, all the work that's been behind the scenes, uh, printing these out. The time lapse videos as well will be in there, um, and then also hopefully some before and after shots of before it's painted, after it's painted, uh, and also of my friend in his full cosplay uniform, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. That's all I wanted to really talk about this time. Um, if you do have anything you want me to talk about or um, to show, then do let me know in the comment section below, um, and I will try and make a video for it. Um, yeah, so. Uh, and also, uh, for anything 3D printer related, if you want to know anything uh, or find out anything for it, just let me know in the comments section below and I will see if I can do a video for that. Um, yeah, so that's about it for this time. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have anything, follow me on Twitter, at and thanks for watching.